This video is going to be me doing my everyday makeup and can I say my eyebrows look really weird in this video like this one looks thicker but I can assure you they are relatively the same but yeah um, I'm going to do a voiceover for this because I haven't spoke through the video but yeah this is basically what I've been wearing on my face every day <laughs> so yeah um, I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you in my next one bye guys Firstly, I will conceal my under eyes with my Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline New York and I really, really like the shade of this because it does cover up my dark circles and I really like the coverage and it is in the shade 20 because I'm really fair skinned and I'll just put it under my eyes and then I'll blend in with a brush. Then for foundation, I use my Rimmel London Match Perfection with SPF 18 and I just got that all over my face. And this gives me quite a bit of good coverage but it is a really light because I use the shade 103 True Ivory. Again, I'm really pale skin but when I wear fake tan I really need to put a darker foundation on so I need to invest in a darker foundation. But this one is really highly good coverage and I really, really like it. And I really like the way it sits on my skin and everything like that. So yeah, that's me with the foundation. And then I will use my Rimmel London Wake Me Up Concealer and I'll just put that under my eyes to brighten my eyes because I've been really liking enhancing my brighten areas. And I just put it on my jawline and um, obviously on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow. And I don't know how I feel about this concealer yet. I'll need to keep on trying it. But for now, I don't really like the way it looks. And it's in the lightest shade and it's in soft beige. But it's not light enough, but again, I'm really pale skin, so I need to get a really, really light drugstore concealer to brighten up the areas that I want to brighten. But for now, it's doing the job with the powder that I'm using. So the powder I'm using is the Stay Matte by Rimmel London, and I'm in the shade Transparent. This is just to brighten up the areas that I want to brighten because it's a really, really good powder. I always use this, like... I think I stopped using it for a while but I always always come back to this and I really hope they never stop selling this because it's a really really good powder especially for like brighten up areas and also the coverage it's really nice I like the way it sits on my skin as well and then I will go on to a darker shade of this exact same powder and it's in 003 peach glow and I just use that for my forehead and down my neck just to blend everything together so yeah that's me with powder on my face then I'll go into my Bourjois Paris bronzing powder and I absolutely love this. I have had this for years. I swear by this bronzer for powder anyway. And I just love the way it looks. It's got a tight, like, slight shimmer in it. And this is like my first voiceover so I'm sorry if this is a bit weird. But uh, yeah, it's in the shade 52 and I can't read French because, you know, I just can't. So yeah, but I really, really like this bronzer and I do really love the way it looks on my skin. And I will just blend everything together with a big fat brush and hope for the best because my contouring skills aren't amazing at the moment but I like the way I've been doing it on my skin recently. For blush I will use a Chanel blush and I do not know what shade it is in because when my auntie bought me it like there wasn't a number or anything on it but my friend had this exact same one and it's the exact same shade because I remember looking at the shade on her blush and really really liking it because she put it on my skin before. So I got that one and it's just one of the Chanel Black Merchandising blush, I don't know. For highlight, I am using a little eyeshadow and it's just a really cheap one. It's called Divided, if I even said that right. And it's from H&M actually and I really like the way it's got really a lot of shimmer in it. For my eyebrows, I didn't actually show but I'm using a Studio Perfect Brow Shaping Kit. My eyebrows were really annoying me in this video. So I have my brow bone, I just use this really light colour in the W7 in the buff palette and it's just a nude palette. Um, for eye primer, I'm using MUA Makeup Academy Pro Base Eye Primer. And then I'm using a neutral palette from Benefit and I'm just using the two shades um, that are in that box. It's like a pink and a yellow shade and I really like the way it looks together. For eyeliner, I'm using my Maybelline New York Master Graphic eyeliner pen and yeah I switch between an eyeliner pen shadow and gel eyeliner just depending on what I feel like doing but yeah then I'll cut on my lashes and then I will use my Rimmel London J 
Day Tonight Glam Eyes and I really like this because it's obviously got the two brushes and it does give me such great length and some of my mascara that I have used to like I don't know, it just didn't like stay on and stay that volumized all day but this mascara is really amazing and I really recommend this to anyone who wants to buy a good mascara and cheap. Uh, so yeah, it's always got the two brushes, one for volume and one for length and I really really love this mascara a lot. So on my lips I use a BD Trade Secrets lip liner and it's in the shade Pink Berry and I just line my lips because I've been liking the way this look looks. Like the dark liner and then a brighter and I'll just find ombre lips. And then for the lipstick I'm using, it's Baby Doll Kiss and Blush by YSL and it's in the shade hmm, 9. And I can't remember what colour this is, but it's just a bright pink. So yeah, 